All right. <clears throat> okay, we're going to talk about what we're doing today. What can you expect? What are you going to see today? And we start. Then what will happen next is we'll finish talking here. Uh, we'll uh, go ahead and, and uh, I'll go over to the operating room and we'll get started. As soon as the operation is done, I'll come out and talk with your family. That usually takes about an hour or two just because we set up and have the anesthesia and things like that. The surgery itself, as you heard, is between 30 and 50 minutes depending. And uh, after that, you'll go to the recovery room. The recovery room is where they have all the monitors in place to make sure that you come out of the anesthesia safely. So we don't invite family in there. We want the nurse to do their job and watch you. And it's a lot like an airplane flight. It's very boring, which is good. You don't want an exciting recovery. You want a boring airplane flight and a boring recovery. So we'll have you just sit there. You'll probably be groggy, which is good. You could have be wide awake and in discomfort, and we don't want that. So we want you resting comfortably in, in recovery. And that takes an hour or two for the chemicals that we use for anesthesia to get out of your bloodstream. Once they're out, you'll go upstairs to the fourth floor and your recovery upstairs will be kind of like you heard here. You'll have something to drink, you'll walk a little bit, you may be a little sleepy even until the next day. But again, we take a little bit of sleepy as opposed to wide awake and having some discomfort. <coughs> Remember, or not don't remember, but yesterday we talked about the pain medicine you have access to. If you have pain or discomfort, which can happen, we want to alert you to the fact that we have a very carefully thought out pain management program ready for you. Step number one is we have a patient controlled analgesia pump. And that has narcotics in it, but there's a little trick between you and me. The trick is that I work with the public, okay? Imagine giving a pump armed with narcotics to the public. Can't put much in it because you guys are wild. Who knows what you're going to do with it? So just as an example, two stories. One morning I came in, the patient, a wife was asleep, and the husband was pushing the pump saying she was kind of bothering me. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Second, I came in one morning and a lady had the pump button in her hand, a red button, and, and, and she was holding it like this. And I said, hey, how are you doing? She said, terrible. And I said, what's wrong? She said, I really have to go to the bathroom, but when I call the nurse, nobody comes. <laughs> <laughs> so she got the buttons mixed up on how to call the nurse. So she really needed to go to the bathroom because no one had come to her call all night long. So we want to alert you to the fact that the pain medicine is there to use. We heard most of our patients had very little pain, but don't hesitate to use it because we've armed it with a very dilute, low intensity dose. So don't hesitate to use it. Now the good stuff, the powerful doses of narcotics are with the nurse behind the counter. So if you have some pain and you need that, don't hesitate to ask for it. Some people are frightened about the possibility of narcotic addiction, and there's really no risk of that in a one day of pain medicine. So don't hesitate to use it. If you have severe pain, we have stuff for you. Don't ignore it, go ahead and use it. And then finally, on top of that, you can also you have pills. We have dilaudid pills, which are narcotics also. So all those things are available for you if you have any pain or discomfort. Um, during the day and the night, you'll have stuff to drink, you'll be able to walk, you should be able to pass your urine, and uh, then the next morning, I'll see you at around, come here early in the morning and wake you guys up. We woke them up this morning because you're here, but we're going to let you sleep in. Oh, yeah. So we'll see you around lunchtime tomorrow. So our family only needs to come just to pick us up and take us home, right? right? Okay. 